Hello everybody, welcome back to Stage 2 Evolve. We're going to be showing off Stage 2 Wraith in this one, because she had some pretty drastic changes uh, between Legacy. Uh, we will also do... I was going to say... Hmm. We do have Harvest in this version of the game, it does actually work in this version, so I guess we'll do that I suppose. Uh, just to show you what it looks like actually. So as you can already see, um, Decoy is gone, it's replaced with Phantom. The way this works is uh, it's basically like a deployable uh, minion in a way. This is Paladin, Parnell, Carla, Griff and Parnell. We have clones in this one. Um, yeah, it's basically a, a, a copy of yourself um, that you can actually command. Well, not command, but you can place it down in certain areas and it'll wait for hunters. So it's like a, it's similar to Gorgon's spider trap, but it's a more of a, an actual unit in a way. Um, so we'll see, you know. But she does lose the ability to go invisible. Here is the functioning harvest skin as well. Rather than the tar monster that she is in Legacy. Go this way this time. The main changes were to um, alleviate the whole running till three kind of aspect of Wraith, uh, Flee till three. We need to be right the fuck out of this corner, man. Before we get down to, yeah. I'm going to add a little bit more into the meter here just before we go up to... Uh, Oh, we're getting to our first fight, I should say, first fight. Which we'll do now, I suppose, we might as well. So yeah, I'll put one of these down, so there she is. Very nice effects on her, very wispy. Going to be fighting blue and red wraith in this one. As I say, she doesn't last very long. I'm actually going to go for Griff there, actually, thinking about it. Supernova's lost a lot of its wispy effects, however. I'm going to get out because of that, that's Carla. We do retain the armor there, I forgot that she existed on this one, so we need to be very careful. Just grab that. It's fine. Drop another decoy. So this little symbol you see on top of Griff is the isolation mechanic. Which will do more damage to them if they are away from the rest of the team, after a certain distance. We do get it down, we'll get out. As I say, with Carla being on this team, we need to be very careful. We do got a strike on Griff, though. What I will say is I do actually prefer the Warp Blast effect on this one, though, because it does suck in and then detonate, which is kind of what it looks like. It doesn't really have um, an effect in the Legacy version of the game. It's going to be feed speed right there. We'll drop one of them. It's not really going to do anything there, I don't think. I'm going to get out of the way of that. I think Carla's going to have to be a priority target here. I'm going to say, just stop going through there. There we go. We'll get out because we're about to drop armor. Do have range revives by virtue of Paladin uh, Parnell in this one. She's up. Going to be looking to get to stage two here. We need to reclaim some HP back. I'm going to go for climb speed here, it's kind of redundant. Grab it, yeah. Uh, we'll do Supernova, Phantom and Warp. Don't really need to upgrade the... Uh, 
I've ducked too much to be honest. So we are looking to get Carla down here again. She's gone underneath. That's uh, Parnell doming me now. Decently out positioned. We've got two versions of myself on it at the moment. Good. We have two striker now, which is quite good. Be quite that again. So supernova does actually activate. Does it? No, it doesn't actually. Does it? Based on that. There we go. Try and grab some fast food out here. Did actually grab the right one there, I was worried I was going to grab the... Um... Oh no. We do have isolation stacks on Parnell at the moment, Paladin. The problem with Paladin is he's quite similar to Slim in this version of the game, is that you can't really outpace his damage. Uh, he's healing, I should say. I'm gonna grab a little bit more to uh, the meter here with Wamma. I do really like that effect though on the warp blast. I do think that is actually an improvement. Usually against the uh, telegraphed abilities, but I like the wispy sort of energy that sucks into her. Does synergize with this, I do believe. It got cancelled at the end there, though. So it's going to be healing Parnell here. What I am going to do is, because these two exist, wherever they may be, I want to remove Carla again. And be away from Parnell, ideally. Just so we don't get too much damage fed into the uh, red bar. There was an isolation hit. It's, it's basically like giving yourself a guaranteed crit. We do go down. Griff. Fuck. I know we do actually get that shit. I know he's gone there. Okay. She's got three isolation stacks, so that's going to be a big hit. But obviously, because his time keep don't really mean anything. <laughs> We'll go and grab uh, stage 3. So in terms of how she functions in this version of the game, I can take it or leave it to be honest. As I say, it's um, it's basically just a different rendition of her. Flat out. The thing obviously is that you know she loses quite a bit of character identity in this version because the stealth is gone, you know. Uh, she's basically just another damage dealer. So it does remove that kind of effect. It's like they've merged the uh, Phantom Wraith with uh, regular Wraith, which is a bit weird. Because I know Phantom Wraith was going to be, you know, a mutation like um, Meteor Goliath and uh, Elder Kraken at some point in Glacial. This is the method to dealing with this character. Got two isolation stacks on her. So rather than going for him, we need to get Griff out and then we need to go for Parnell. Regular Parnell.
I need to push him into a position where I can like good he's just took this teleporter And Regen is incredibly fast on Wraith, she still has that carryover as well, I believe, from Legacy. I know in Legacy or Am Regen's are very quick. It's gonna be them all coming back. Over there somewhere. Wow, I've gone all the way over there. Melee Slow is in that cave as well. And whatever that is. That's our region. We're going to decoy that phantom, it, I should say. Get rid of that. Need to get back in there ideally pretty damn quickly. It's kind of ironic to say that maybe armor regen might actually be a decent buff here to be honest. So I don't have to keep doing this as much. That'll do. Use that for distance. He's gonna fucking respawn now, and I missed that. Stop with me, even. Hunter, return to the drop. No. Not the right one, although... We will commit to this. Doesn't matter, he's used it too late. to find the blue boy. Probably not going to uh, do this in this amount of time actually. Probably buy the relay if I had to guess. Dome ready. Yeah, it will be. Relay shield activated. Okay, it's over there apparently. Yeah. It took him a bit to get over here, so we're going to try and go for the down here. It's not going to quite do it, I don't think. Yeah, we do actually get it. I'm not going to be able to prevent a revive though, that's the problem. Is up again. Max HP is reduced though. Can't do that. Carl is on the team. In 
Is that here? I think it's here. I think, to be honest, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go and get the uh, armor regen buff. It's still there. It appears to have gone, however. Okay. Legit despawned on me. Guess we're not getting that then. Need to be very quick, basically, with this to end it. We've got a dime again as well. There's Parnell. As long as I stay out of sight of uh, Parnell when she's using that, it should be alright. HP is getting very fucking low though. That move speed, good. Now we get back in, we've got 27 seconds. Ideally, the other one we need there is to get a strike on Parnell uh, Paladin, but probably not going to be something we're going to be able to, to be honest. Not with Parnell this close. Now they're going to get this again. It's going to respawn as well. It's going to be the second strike, but... We've still got time on the dome, actually. Ooh, that's a fucking big misplay. Nice. I'm gonna still get that. That's not good. I didn't land. got three stacks of uh, isolation in there. That's him. Fuck. It's fine. Five seconds again. I fucked me on zip myself up here there I think. I don't think you can actually play this game with uh, fast respawns on hunters. Because they just keep coming back. I think we die again. Might have to reduce the timer. Or uh, increase it I should say. So fucking close, dude. No, he's actually dead. Okay. Potentially, I've got 37 seconds. That's gonna be it. Good shit, there it is. Fucking hell, dude.
I think the timer does create a bit of a problematic situation though because you actually have to kill them all within a minute of each other and on some teams with high sustained medics like that one it's quite hard. I did have Carla that was doing a lot of work there as well though with the uh, armour bypass. Well, there you go, I hope you enjoyed, I'll see you next time.